Uh, so respondent behavior, the response component of a condition response. No, that's wrong. Um, so no, just the response component of uh, respondent behavior, right? So <laughs> that's a circular fucking argument, right? So the response component of a reflex, right? Not the antecedent. So the point is respondent behavior is the response that you give when you're talking about a reflex, right? Um, so if Brad made some really loud noise right now or something scary happened, I would probably jump a foot and do something like that. That part is the respondent behavior, right? The reflexes that you engage in, that's the respondent behavior. Um, they can be modified through classical conditioning, um, but these are elicited, elicited, pulled out of you, right? So the power is on the antecedent, antecedent stimulus. When the antecedent stimulus is present, then oftentimes that response comes out, right? So there's certain situations under which it wouldn't, but that involves habituation and things like that. So um, the point being respondent behavior, reflexes, classical conditioning, Pavlov, Watson, that's it.